What's up everybody, back here with Project 3 Series, also known as Hans Gruber, and uh, today we're going to be doing black kidney grill inserts. Um, hopefully my headlights get here today, maybe we could do those too, it'll be two separate videos anyway. I went ahead and started a little bit because it's pretty simple and there's about 9 million videos on how to do this, but I figured why not add one to my channel. Um, you're just going to pop the hood, basically, it's super duper simple. And on the back side, once you've got the hood popped, you'll see that these things are just pressure fit into there, basically. There's a little retainer clip on that side and a retainer clip on that side. You're just going to put some pressure to them with your finger and then literally slide out. Boom shakalaka. Out of there. This one's already way loose fit. And then you just got to apply your new grills to the uh, back half because this is two pieces. We'll show you how to do that in a second. I will just separate these with some panel poppers, slide the new ones on, and put them in. Yeah, so like I was saying, see these clips? You're going to find them all the way around. All you need is a flathead screwdriver or a panel popper like I got. The screwdriver might work actually better. My panel popper is kind of thick. And I had a little bit of a problem sliding it behind there, but not too much. Just be gentle because I find that all the plastic parts on this car so far have exploded when I touch them. So, um, yeah, be gentle, but you're just going to pry these loose. I'll grab this last one and I'll show you how they come apart. All right. So by my estimation, it's unclipped and I should just be able, you see how they're unclipped from the little doodly doos right there and I should just be able to pull this apart now I've only got one hand because I'm also my cameraman um so we're gonna nope oh, I'm gonna have to unclip one more hang hang tight yeah so once you got them all undone boom comes apart you get rid of the funky chrome and you're just gonna clip your new one on we'll see how that goes real quick all right so good news uh I ordered a kit that comes with two whole pieces so i just gotta slide mine in and clip boom bang i was a little concerned because that's factory chrome and if it didn't come in two pieces there was going to be chrome teeth and black grill surround but um yeah now you know how to get your stuff apart or you could just be smart like me and not remember that you ordered a two-piece kit and these are just gonna i'm literally gonna press these in there and that's it that's probably gonna be the easiest thing i've ever done to this car so let's pop these in real quick all right, so here's the full install for these. Everybody ready? I don't think that's on straight, hang on. And just like that, those are installed. Check that out. No more funky chrome, but I'll keep those just in case. I don't know, I suppose I probably do just painted those black, but whatever. I uh, need a new emblem, but it kind of matches this now. I've got the new center insert coming for this. Probably going to get a plate. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. And that, my friends, has been my wonky install on how to install new kidney grills for your BMW 3 Series. Um, again, like I said, be smart. Order the kit that's got two pieces, and it's a five-second job. If you order the kit that's only got the front pieces, it's like a five minute job so yeah cool i'm super happy with the way that came out i can't wait to do the rest of the facelift on this thing all right guys later taters stay tuned for more e36 nope try again e46 so follow along for more hans gruber project e46 this has been well this has been ben with how you do kidney grills on your bmw later taters